Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we're going to talk about some juicy buff that occurred at tier 10, aka the Badger going from 30 to 34 kilometers per hour. And trust me, this is something interesting enough to do a video, so let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it. Before we jump into some juicy replays, I just want to give you some highlights about the Badger. What do you need to know about this tank? It's all about two things, gun and armor. For the gun, guys, it features two things that are really interesting on a gun aka the accuracy 0.30 without using the equipment lowering down the accuracy i really want to insist on that but on top of it 3.4k dpm because yes you have 8.1 seconds of reload for 460 alpha damage with this thing you are gonna be the nightmare of your opponents if they are not able to circle you on top of that 10 degrees of gun depression that makes it lovely simply because when you take a look at the main armor you can see that the tank is really really armored 215 at the front but without taking into consideration the angling of the tank the tank is naturally angled which makes it a really great opponent just be careful because when people are using calibrated shell and playing with gold they will be able to penetrate those two areas here and here because that's the only part of the tank that are less angled than the rest which doesn't make it a weak spot, to be fair, because you really need calibrated shell and not a lot of people are using it, but still, you gotta be careful about it. So with this tank, always make sure to use your 10 degrees of gun depression to have as much armor as possible. For the rest, as you see, we went from 30 to 34 kilometers per hour during the 8.1 update, and trust me, it does the job in the game, and this is exactly what we're gonna see right now. For this video, guys, we're gonna take a look at two replays, one based on the armor and one based on the gun. And we start off with the armor profile. The main problem with the Badger we had before the 8.1 update was that it was impossible for you to take advanced or aggressive position simply because 30 kilometers per hour doesn't do the job now even if it's a small boost four kilometers per hour on top of that will allow you to take more advanced position such as it's the case on malinovka right now what i'm gonna do right now is pushing through trying to get the e75 because from here as he can't see my weak spot which is the lower part of the hole i'm nearly sure that he will not penetrate me and this is happening right now 460 damage already bounced one thing you can do with the Badger that you can't do with other tanks, maybe you can do it with the T-123 as well, is not necessarily be worried about getting penetrated when you are doing all down like that. Because your armor is so strong that it's literally impossible for people to penetrate you with regular shells, tank destroyers included. Maybe the Hori got a chance using a gold shell, but otherwise, nah, it's impossible. And this is what makes this tank lovely. Now with the 34 kilometers per hour, it allows you to get to the battlefield trying to rush your opponents. And here, you are gonna see what is important to notice about this change on the mobility. Just take a look at this. I sneak a shot on the T-123. What happens? When you shoot a shot at a guy that is moving toward you to sneak a shot, you want to pull back to a safe position because here my lower part of the hull is exposed. I want to hide that. So what I'm going to do is pulling back and having a better mobility will allow me to bounce. Just take a look at that. Just as I managed to pull back, boom, I bounce it straight. This is something you couldn't do with the old Badger because you didn't have the mobility for it. And by adding just a little bit of kilometers per hour to the stop speed, Wargaming finally allows you to be more competitive while playing aggressive. You are not forced anymore to stay in the back and wait for your opponents to rush in front of your gun. And this is a big change because it finally makes the Badger an interesting thing to play with, at least in my opinion. Now all you have to do is repeat that little move from there, hiding the lower part of the hull, only showing the strong part of, of the upper hull, and you're set up to completely destroy your opponents. Because when you're, once you're set up, as you can see, nothing can be made to fight you. Look at this. That 4123. In 20 seconds, we nearly killed. What? Well, yeah, we nearly killed him totally without the help of our allies. And this is what makes it really, really lovely. Now, we're gonna use our mobility to fight back going on the T62A, the Centurion, and the Sheridan. There is the T62A here. I'm loading an HE because, yes, with this tank, you have a really great HE penetration. So yeah, we dubbed the T62A and now I'm not gonna bother. I see that there is the Sheridan and I'm going right in front of him. As I'm confident about my armor, I'm gonna go in straight even if I take the risk of getting penetrated, which did not happen because the guy bounced. Boom, that's it. That's how you win with the Badger. We nearly did 3.2K. No, we did 3.1K 
armor uh, bounce, um, no, not armor bounce, but shot bounced, which makes it really, really interesting and probably the most armored tank at tier 10. For the first game, guys, we're going to take a look at the gun. As I told you, the main advantage you have with it is that you reload in 8.1 seconds, which implies that, yes, you are a deadly machine just waiting for someone to do the mistake of coming in front of you. So what we're going to do for that is playing aggressively, because with the Badger, now that we have finally our 34 kilometers per hour, we can take advanced position. Here, for example, there is a Kampf Panzer. If he didn't lock me, I would have been able to push through, but unfortunately, it did not happen but not a problem it seems like we can still go in because yes we're a badger and the badger is quite a deadly animal so there we go push 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 luckily for us we managed not to take the shot from the 100 that seems didn't that yeah, it seems like he didn't have the gun depression. And now we're pushing through and that's it. We're gonna wait for him here. I destroyed the little um a little cosmetic of the map right there to be able to sting my shots on the 100 and there we go we sneak a first shot on it 370 millimeters of penetration are doing a job the job against the 250 millimeter armor and now yes all we have to do is getting to that e100 we sneak in another one and here once the e100 is gonna shoot at us like right now and unluckily for him he shot straight between my tracks and my whole power of him and now yes i just have to use adrenaline and that's where things are getting interesting 8.1 seconds of reload but with adrenaline it goes down to seven seconds or something like that 6.8 seconds sorry which will allow you to perma track your opponents it's extremely important for you when you are facing tanks like that to perma track them and to after face hug them because if you do that it's impossible for them to penetrate you and this is pretty much the play style of the badger if you can't hide the lower part of the hull destroy the tracks of your opponent just face hug them and just let your armor do the job now we're pushing back on the grill and we're going to use a great he shell he's not using spore liner and burp nearly 600 damage just imagine if you're facing something that doesn't have any armor you can do 600 alpha damage every time you are shooting uh, which every time you're shooting he which gives you something like 5k dpm it's just insane and ridiculous and i feel like finally this tank is worth getting. Now that Wargaming buffed the tank, the last thing I want to talk about in this video. Usually when Wargaming is buffing a premium tank, they are putting it back in the shop. So I'm expecting the Badger to come during the 8.1 update in the shop. If it's the case, the tank would be worth it if it's for 15,000 gold or less. Not more, because for that you have the Chieftain MK6, which is overall a way better tier 10 to acquire. But still, the Badger is one hell of a tank, and now that it's being buffed, it's a really fun one to play as well. So, yeah, as I told you, and I'm going to show you right now uh, briefly, as I told you, the weak spot is right there and is called the lower part of the hole. But otherwise, if you don't get shot here, it's impossible to, for your opponents to penetrate, making you a rolling bunker and a really great one. Hopefully you enjoyed, guys. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like and share. And I'm going to see you soon for a new video.